One person is in the hospital and an accused shooter in custody after gunfire erupted at a protest over a statue of Juan de Onate. It's the second time in the last few years a protest targeting the controversial Spanish conquistador has resulted in shots fired. New Sartini has obtained video of that shooting and we want to warn you tonight the video is hard to watch. New Sartini's Gabe Chavez spoke with witnesses who were just feet away when the shots rang out. A chaotic scene as a single gunshot rings out at what was started as a peaceful protest in Española. Raymond Naranjo and Nathania Bird were at the protest today when Naranjo captured this video just a few feet away from the shooter. Uh, he, he was also uh, recorded earlier during the day uh, in uh, hate speech, I guess. It happened this afternoon around noon outside of a Rio Riva County office. That's where protesters were voicing continued opposition to the planned reinstallation of a statue of Juan de Oñate, the Spanish conquistador known for his massacre of the Acoma people. Yeah, well, we were there on prayer, and, um, you know, like the prayer was interrupted with an uh, uh, attempt on someone's life. The statue was removed from a different county building in 2020 amid protests around the state over monuments of colonial figures. Rio Riva County officials had announced a dedication ceremony planned for today, placing the statue in front of the sheriff's office. But last night, the county canceled that event on the sheriff's recommendation, citing safety reasons, though they did not elaborate on those concerns. Protesters still showed up to the site today, giving speeches and leading prayers. Sheriff, were your deputies at the gathering today? We, we did have some deputies on standby, yes, sir. Were they there at the time of the shooting? No, sir. Why not? I'm not going to take any more questions. Video shows the man later identified as 23-year-old Ryan Martinez in the green sweatshirt and a Make America Great Again hat, standing in the crowd alongside other counter-protesters. Before video shows protesters trying to kick him out of the area right in front of the sheriff's office. He was trying to get back into the circle. He was trying to get back in and no one wanted, they were trying to hold him from coming back in because there was children there. And then uh, that's when the altercation took place. He jumps over a wall as the group chases after him and tries to grab him before he pulls out a gun from his waistband and fires a single shot before fleeing the scene. Española police later arrested Martinez. Gabe Chavez, KRQE, News 13. The shooting victim was rushed to the hospital. No word at this hour on that person's condition. As we mentioned, this was the second shooting in recent years at a protest over a monument to Juan de Oñate. In June of 2020, protesters and counter-protesters clashed over the Oñate statue outside the Albuquerque Museum with protesters trying to tear it down. Stephen Ray Baca in the blue shirt was seen on cell phone video yanking a woman to the ground. He also admitted to getting into a tussle with another woman in the crowd. Protesters chased after him and one swung a skateboard before Baca opened fire, wounding that protester. Armed members of a self-proclaimed militia group kept other protesters away from Baca until police arrived. Baca pleaded to battery charges for the incidents with the two women and to illegally carrying a gun. But the most serious charge he faced, aggravated battery for that shooting, was dropped. Baca maintained he was acting in self-defense.